Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel that is Dale Chanel's 40th World and we're giving you entertainment information you can use while you snooze, okay? Or snooze while you lose. Either way, thank you for coming to the video and the channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel at this time, please do so. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. That's how you can help me build it up, okay? To continue to bring you fascinating, jaw-dropping ear salacious type of stories okay but let's get on into this particular story because i couldn't believe it. i couldn't believe it till it ran across my um my video feed on my phone got this uh <laughs> information from page six you know they are a vlogging site okay page6.com if you ever want some news you can use go on over there to their station and let them uh give you all the salacious stories on the has been and ends still in uh, celebrities uh, of our world now of course i don't know where whitney was at this time i'm guessing she was married to bobby brown but i'm not really sure you know uh seems like they were cuddled up they were happy they were having fun but we all know bobby brown is a celebrity within his, within his own right <laughs> <laughs> and Whitney pretty much couldn't do nothing with him. She had to just shake her head sometimes. Sometimes she had to call Bobby. 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 Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. It just is what it is. Nobody could handle Bobby Brown but the Lord. Okay. But um, I really do miss Whitney Houston. I really do wish, uh, miss her on this plane of existence. But as we know she was going through some stuff. She was really going through. So rest in peace my love rest in peace but yeah Kim Whitley came out and said Bobby Brown beat her on the neck child she felt that he was just so elated and so happy and excited to see her and he just plopped right like a little vampire and I'm, I'm sure Whitney was shocked <laughs> she probably said what in the world are you doing getting that close to another female and of course, you know, they used to fight and fuss all the time, child. But she loves her, herself some Bobby, and Bobby loved himself some Whitney, honey. They just couldn't, they couldn't be together. But, uh, yeah, Ken Willie is reporting to page six that she recalled back in the day. Whitney's husband, Bobby Brown, saw her after a show or whatever, came up to her, and she was thinking he was going to give her a nice kiss on the cheek or the neck, whatever. She said he drew blood. <laughs> And I'm talking about the red blood that drip from your veins, okay? She said she, she, at first she's like, is he a vampire or something? Or was I meat to him or something? What's going on? But anyway, Bobby was wild back then. The day you know he was, and he made some good R&B music, okay? That's all I can say. Bobby, I, I, I can't say nothing bad about Bobby Brown, even though he went to jail so many times. <clears throat> He was just funny. He was a funny character. And he could sing and he could dance. So, hey. Hey, he even had uh, Janet Jackson one time. She won't admit to it, okay? Because she felt she was stepping down, okay? But he was bringing her up is really what it was. But you know how them Jackson children are. They got to be doing whatever they daddy told them to do at the time. But we're going to get on back to page six. And we're going to um, give shout-outs to Carlos Greer, who put this salacious story out about Kim Whitley and Bobby Brown <coughs> and Bobby Brown biting on her okay not in a flat flattering way but it just was what it was but he put the story out on September 17th at 9 52 p.m. it's titled Kim Whitley recalls the time single Bobby Brown be her <laughs> Like Bobby Brown, if you can't keep your teeth to yourself, okay, keep your teeth to yourself. Was you high, honey? Was you high on life, or what? What was, what was going on with you that you had to go bite another woman when you already had Whitney? Okay, prime rib right there. I ain't gonna say Whitley. Uh, Whitley. Uh, Kim Whitley wasn't prime meat, but you know, hey, and Whitney's heyday, she was just all about that, you know, and everybody loved Whitney. Okay, Whitney was the voice. As Clyde Davis dubbed her. But anyway, going back to this article, it says, As if describing Marla Wayne's small bat, 
of a penis wasn't juicy enough yeah she had that story out but i thought it was just distasteful you know i'm like come on now don't be telling about a man another pride just say he just wasn't up to the task okay you didn't feel that when it was in now that's all you had to say you had to say his um penis looked like a bat i mean come on now come on unless it truly did look like a bat and then that's a kiki and a haha but anyway kim girl going back to the article it said kim willie also dropped a bombshell about the time bobby brown bit her drawing blood in her upcoming episode of tv ones uncensored yes you know uncensored is out there they tell you everything or unsung all of that you be like damn that happened to that artist they carried it well i couldn't have went through that but they did they survived and they moved on but that wasn't in the man's article that was just my sidebar but going back to the article it says it's all allegedly went down years ago at the house of blues where magic johnson was giving his wife cookie a party she recalled bobby brown had gone on stage with whitney houston and they were singing and they were trying to get bobby off stage and she said adding this was during the wild years of bobby brown <laughs> you know the, the bobby brown there my prerogative ah oh, mine is my 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 uh, my prerogative i could do what i want to do come on ted i made this money they didn't right ted we out of here went somewhere like that but <laughs> bobby was crazy he would even do stuff on stage that was just unheard of okay and they were gonna shut his butt down and they did get shut out somebody's gonna some kind of shut out because it was just too raunchy 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 just like that little video clip i'm giving you to look at right about now okay but going back to the article it said whitley hosted a tv show called old drama in 2001 and brown was a fan she said the singer was so excited to meet her that he grabbed me and he went to my neck and he bit it i gushed blood and everything i don't know if it uh he thought he was a vampire she joked uh but the bite was serious enough that she went down to the ground Ooh, he was biting up her on something you know i'm like <laughs> i'm like claire husband like why would you let that man get that close to you to call himself gonna bite you and if he did bite you why you just slap the shit out of him <laughs> and whitney he was like what my husband didn't do that are you crazy well she can't defend herself now i mean really kim you're gonna bring out a story like this after the deceased wife is dead I don't know, after his his deceased wife, Bobby Brown's deceased wife is dead, but well, she can't confirm or deny. Did y'all see the versus battle between Keith Sweat and Bobby Brown? Child, I saw the whole thing. I, oh, I was like, the worst minutes of my life I cannot get back. The worst minutes of my life, okay? Keith Sweat acted like much like he was drunk up there, and Bobby Brown just looked like, oh, I'm too tired to even be put out anything <laughs> he told me i need a break and he didn't do too much y'all but he was you know his belly is way out there and i, I don't know i don't know what was going on bob bob was just fun he just need to let people honor him he don't need to get back up there and do nothing we can remember we can relate <laughs> he like old grandpa now need to sit himself down he can barely move on that stage but he be trying that's one thing i can't say brother be trying when he know he finna mess up some lyrics he finna mess up some sound our ears and all that but brother be trying okay he still got it in him even though it don't build out like it used to but anyway going back to the article that was all my sidebar miss whitley said um we added that she was encouraged to sue the my prerogative singer who was married to houston at the time but decided against it she was like it wasn't like i felt oh i want to wit i want witness money i don't want anything bad to happen to him he was just excited and crazy she said so see she had people in her ear was telling uh her she need to sue bobby had no money out of time bobby running through his mind like it wasn't nobody's business <laughs> he wasn't really doing no concerts at the time when he was messing with whitney because whitney wanted bobby at her side by her side in her side okay everywhere she was she wanted bobby to be there and kind of sort of bobby kind of felt kind of i guess guilty and a little jealous because her career was still you know riding the wave and she was still out there and he has had kind of plummets when he got with her and everything became like a standstill so i know he felt some kind of way but that's just my pun intended not in this latest article but anyway i was just like yeah kim don't 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 mm -mm, don't sue by don't sue by baby <laughs> he ain't got nothing 
he don't have anything but anyway that is what it is but going back to the article it says whitley longtime pal tv host juan uh, murray helped produce the comedian's episode in the episode she opens up about how actress jackie harry y'all know 227 jackie and what did jackie play on she played on a lot of pictures uh a sister sister she was uh tia's mom uh yeah i'm sure y'all know who i'm talking about but uh uh she kind of favors uh kim whitley as well that she makes mention in this article anyway so it goes back to say jackie harris uh kim whitley is saying jackie harry did not like me looking like her her relationship with the late gerald levert and the time she mistook Wayne's penis for a small bat in his shorts when she gets started on his sitcom The Wayne's Brothers in 1998. Okay. But that was funny, y'all. That was funny. I thought I'd just bring that to you, Kim Whitley, out of all these years. All these years, honey. Because I don't know how long Whitney been dead. About seven, eight. How long Whitney been dead, Sean? Sean. She must be asleep. But anyway, Whitney been dead for a while now. And. <laughs> She gonna come up with this story. Page six got it, honey. Page six got it and put it out on this social media platform for us to partake of it. Okay, but that's all I had, honey. Who Whitney? <laughs> Whitney had bad, bad, bubba bad, uh, brown, honey. But she loved every drop of him from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. She was in love with her, uh, her soulmate. Or maybe it was Robin. Uh, I don't know. Robin, her f- longtime friend. And maybe Bob just came a close uh, second. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? But we do know she loved her son some Bobby. Or she sure was up his behind half the time. Okay, but they made a cute couple. Uh, Bunny and Clyde. Or, uh, you know, freaking frat. Oh, boy, I tell you the truth. But anyway, that's all I have for this particular story. Kim Whitley confessing that Bobby Brown back in his heyday bit her. Bit the shit out of her. She drew blood. She had fell on the um, concrete or the stage or something. They had to get uh, blankets and all this stuff to, I guess, uh, keep her from stopping bleeding. Because he didn't bust a, a major artery. Or she had to go to the hospital. Then yeah, she probably would have thought about suing Whitney. Mm-hmm. And, you know. Prayers up for Whitney. She didn't have to go through that situation. Because <laughs> she had some troubles of her own. She had her own demons to face. Okay. Not just fooling with her ex-husband. Because she did divorce him prior to her um, leaving this plane of existence. But I think if they just could have went to another country. Worked it out. They probably would have been good. And both of them detoxed and stayed away from that illicit drugs. Okay. Allegedly. But that's all I got for this video. If y'all like it. Please thumbs it up like it share and subscribe to my channel okay but i'll talk to y'all in another video take care bye bye <coughs>